Hey everybody, let's talk about Best Buy. Best Buy has just announced what's expected to be hundreds of layoffs. And I'm out here in front of a, what used to be a Best Buy. It's a vacant commercial building now. But as you probably have noticed, a lot of the Best Buys have closed down. And uh, with this recent announcement of all these layoffs, uh, people are speculating something big may be happening with the economy. Now, we've been talking about for a long time that there's deceleration in spending and Best Buy is an example. Here we are right now about three months until Christmas. So entering the holiday shopping season uh, for many people anyways, and Best Buy announcing layoffs at this time. So it's very interesting timing to say the least. Now also Best Buy was on the money wise list of companies that are dying off the fastest. So very interesting. Uh, Best Buy stores across the country are doing what's called cost cutting. And we saw what happened in 2020 with the shutdowns, with the health crisis, how many of the uh, brick and mortar stores had a lot of trouble and people surged to online shopping. And places like Amazon, of course, saw great benefit from that. But now we're seeing even Amazon announcing warehouse uh, shutdowns and canceling leases on what was gonna be future warehouses for Amazon. Uh, so very interesting. Now, Best Buy has been closing stores every year since 2012. Now, they actually were growing fast up until about the mid 2000s. And then people started going to online platforms for streaming music, for example. They used to be big on media with DVDs and CDs. Now, most people are just streaming both video, uh, movies, of course, and audio. Hardly anyone buying CDs or DVDs. And that was a big part of their uh, selection. Of course, they still have a lot of electronics. They still do very well online. And actually, a story, I bought a refrigerator from Best Buy, just ordered it online, got it delivered. And it was actually a really good price. It seems that the shortages have began to ease quite a bit. I didn't have any wait time to get the refrigerator that I bought from Best Buy from online. Retailers, a lot of them went out and stocked up on goods and items, um, not knowing what was going to happen, not knowing if this uh, health crisis was going to go away and stay gone or if it was going to come back, a new wave, what have you. And uh, now a lot of them are oversupplied. So hopefully we'll start seeing some big, big discounts, especially, like I said at the beginning, shopping season for the holidays around the corner. Now here's something else. According to the Wall Street Journal, many of the positions that are going to be cut here in this recent round of layoffs are going to be workers who help with purchasing or planning of home entertainment systems. So now with the housing market on the downslide, a uh, lot less people now upgrading their homes, uh, renovating their homes. The ones that plan the home entertainment systems, the stereo system, surround sound, all that, um, part of the crew getting laid off. So interesting timing again, uh, coinciding with the housing market and coinciding with consumers um, getting maxed out on debt and savings rate plunging for consumers. We also see the markets down since the beginning of the year. So the wealth effect is fading and fading fast. Stay tuned for some more news. Hey everybody. Okay, so back in the studio, obviously. Uh, what does everybody think about that? I think it's kind of a big deal that a company like Best Buy is laying off as we are going into the holiday shopping season. And we see this in other areas of entertainment. We have Netflix, uh, recent layoffs announced here today. Uh, just came out here. Um, a couple more here, Warner Brothers, uh, Discovery Entertainment Network, over 100 plus people laid off. Uh, so we're seeing things continue to crumble. More layoffs announced. Banks announcing more layoffs too. We have a recent one here. Goldman Sachs, hundreds of layoffs. And uh, as the housing market continues to slow down, that lifeline that a lot of people depend on, home equity lines of credit, drying up. And people rushed to take out home equity line of credit in the first half of 2022, uh, I think for a couple of reasons. Likely because people are getting so far into debt, they're desperate for a lower interest rate debt consolidation. And that's what a lot of people take out these, uh, these loans for. Uh, some people just scraping by. Other people, I think, saw the shift in the housing market and they wanted to take out equity before their home equity actually dropped, right? So if they tried to apply now, it would be different than when they applied, let's say back in January or February of this year, just after mortgage rates started to rise, right? So not a good thing to do if you're in a desperate situation, your home equity is dropping and you're taking a line of credit because you're afraid that lifeline is gonna go away because your equity is dropping. 
not a good position to be in. That's why this housing market pain is going to continue to worsen. Uh, the debt situation is not going to be resolved. Um, we saw what they had to do with student loans. They had to let a lot of people off the hook up to $10,000, $20,000 in some cases. Uh, will we need that sort of rescue uh, forgiveness program in order to keep this whole economy from imploding? Once consumers are so much so deep into debt, they have to stop spending and mortgage rates are rising. Interest rates on these credit cards are rising. We talked about that just a few reports ago. It's going to be an economic nightmare. So what type of intervention, what type of rescue programs are they going to come up with? Um, some people say they're not going to do anything, that they're going to let it crash. Well, we already have seen just over the past few weeks, strategy, not strategies, but uh, different measures that have been implemented. We now have Bank of America, zero down mortgages just for certain people. But will that be expanded throughout the mortgage industry? Will they try to get people in at the top of the bubble in order to prevent the bubble from deflating? Very interesting times. We're in the biggest economic bubble we've ever seen. This whole economy and what makes up our economy, which is jobs and people spending money, people taking on record levels of debt, people taking out the biggest loans they can take out. Uh, that is what's been propping up the economy. And now with the consumers getting maxed out on debt, savings rate plunging, things are slowing down. It's pretty simple. So they're going to have to do a massive debt erasure, erase, erasing of the debt to keep this um, Ponzi scheme going, right? People are running out of money. Things are too expensive. Raising interest rates is not going to give us a lower cost of living. It may bring the housing market down. It's not going to grow food. It's not going to um, manufacture items that we all need to survive, right? But here's how out of touch some people, I don't want to say out of touch. I just mean, let's say greedy. Um, billionaire investor, David Rosenberg. Rosenberg calls on the Fed to pause rate hikes to help investors. Pause rate hikes to help investors. So who needs help here more? The average working person, the average middle-class person or investors, right? So because rate hikes are causing panic, and causing market sell-offs like the one we saw thousand point sell-off here recently and now there's people out there that would still argue with you and tell you that we need lower interest rates to make it easier for people they say that lower interest rates make it easier for people to carry their debt um, to make their credit card payments a little bit lower but we've seen what happens with the credit cards even when rates were at rock bottom the fed funds rate credit card interest rates were still 17, 18%. So this is not going to really change that much what the banks charge. Now, when it comes to mortgages, that's a different story. Mortgages, credit cards, uh, two different beasts as far as the rates go. Credit cards rates have stayed about 17% plus even at the bottom of the Fed funds rate. Mortgage rates, that's more heavily affected by the bond market. That's why we look at that 10-year yield and we see mortgage rates now about 6% breaching 6%, double of what it was just at the beginning of the year. So major impact there. But people will still argue that we need lower mortgage rates to make homes more affordable. Oh, because people's payments will be less. Just the opposite happens. It creates bubbles. Having more people borrow money creates bubbles. People spending money they don't have, it creates bubbles. We need the bubbles to deflate. Uh, who's going to have any money left over when the bubbles do deflate? Because there's going to be so many job losses. How many people waiting on the sideline right now to buy a house will not be able to buy a house because they lost their job? And a lot of these jobs were only created because of this economic illusion, this, this false boom that was created with all of this debt issuance and all these loans and people buying stuff that they can't afford. All that creates jobs and it creates a big illusion. It creates a lie and the lie needs to be revealed. Uh, these bubbles need to deflate. They need to keep rates high, keep raising rates. It's going to cause some pain. But in the end, it's the only way to fix things. And people going through a lot of financial hardship and pain is going to be the only way for most people to wake up. Not everyone is like people here on this channel. Not everyone realizes what caused this. We know what caused this. But uh, most people just don't realize it. They want to have low rates forever. And they think that's the solution. It's not a solution. It's just going to make things worse. Well, it's going to delay the inevitable. Um, crazy times, folks. So hope you guys like the support. Let me know what you think about Best Buy. Uh, I used to shop at that store all the time. I was a big CD buyer. Is anyone old enough to remember CDs, <laughs> music CDs? Uh, crazy how we used to spend money on CDs, a piece of plastic, and now we've got places we could just go look at millions of songs. I was at the push of a button. All right, folks, thanks for watching this report. Be well, keep stacking. Bye for now, and peace.